The November general election is just two months away. Are you planning to vote early, vote in person at a polling place or election day, or cast an absentee ballot? County clerks are now putting their plans together to keep voters and poll workers as safe as possible from the coronavirus and to be able to handle a huge volume of mail-in ballots. In the recent special session of the legislature, lawmakers passed two bills about elections. Governor Little has signed them into law. One gives county clerks more time to process the large number of absentee ballots they expect to receive. Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain says the state has already received more than 300,000 absentee ballot requests and the number keeps growing every day. Up to a week earlier, clerks throughout the state will be able to open and start scanning the ballots. We won't actually start counting results. Um, the computer systems we, re we use can scan the image of the ballot, not actually look at the results yet, and then when we tell the computer to It'll go through and process all of those votes and we'll have results, you know, into the evening while you guys are covering the news, just like we would normally expect. The other new election law guarantees in person voting in some form, regardless of any emergency orders in effect. During the taping of this week's viewpoint, McGrain laid out some of the safety protocols that will be in place at polling places on election day. He says Central District Health has approved them. We're providing uh, uh, protective gear, including masks. We have face shields for our poll workers, cleaning supplies to regularly clean some of the materials. I think one of the interesting examples that we'll see in November, um, we're encouraging voters if they want to bring their own writing utensil, bring a pen with them. We will also be providing pencils, individuals, like we would say commemorative pencils for this year's election. Counties are also facing a poll worker shortage. Many decided not to work this year because of COVID concerns. So clerks are looking for interested people to fill the need. If you live in Ada County, you can go to adacountyelections.com slash poll worker. The website for those in Canyon County is canyonco.org slash poll worker. On Viewpoint this Sunday morning at 630, McGrain also talks about election security, making sure every vote counts. Plus, Speaker of the House Scott Begke discusses the bills passed in the special session and what lawmakers learn from the protests and chaos as they look ahead to the next legislative session in January.